see. Miss Bennet, we've finally arisen. How fortuitous. There are some words I must say. Please do be seated. <clears throat> Miss Bennet, although I know many consider you to be decidedly inferior, as a matter of your birth, your family, and your circumstances, my feelings will not be repressed. In vain have I struggled. I've come to feel for you a most ardent admiration and regard which has overcome my better judgment. So now I ask you most fervently to end my turmoil and consent to be my wife. If I could feel gratitude, I would now thank you. But I cannot. I never desired your good opinion. And you have certainly bestowed it most unwillingly. Might I be informed why? With so little endeavour at civility, I am rejected. You intentionally ruined the happiness of my most beloved sister. Do you deny it? I have no wish to deny it. I did everything in my power to separate my friend from your sister. Oh! How could you? Because I perceived her, his attachment to her to be far deeper than hers to him. I believed her to be indifferent. Indifferent? She died! Did you suggest to Mr. Bingley? that his fortune had some bearing on the matter. I wouldn't do your sister the dishonour, though it was suggested. By Miss Bingley! By your mother at the ball. Your character was revealed to me many months ago! Mr. Wickham's misfortunes have been very great indeed. <laughs> you withhold the advantages that you know were designed for him. This is your opinion of me. Then I thank you for explaining it so fully. offer of your hand in any possible way that would have tempted me to accept it. I had not known you a month before I felt you were the last man in the world whom I could ever be prevailed on to marry. You said quite enough, man. I fully comprehend your feelings and now I've only to be ashamed of what my own have been. Please forgive me and accept my best wishes for your health and happiness. <laughs>